hi all welcome if you're new my name is Aisha Mandisa welcome back if you aren't I have another video for you and by the title you can tell it is the process of registering your business name but this time online COVID has brought about a few good changes and one of them is that you are now able to type in Kaipo Barbados, go to kaipo.gov.bb, create an account and register your business name online. This process is still specific to Barbadian business however. So let's get into it. Wait, before that, make sure you have an active email address like one that you know the password to that you could get into because they will send a one-time password as well as an activation link for you to activate your account probably didn't have to say that but i probably did as well so once you have that covered then you can move on to actually creating your account and registering online so i'm going to switch now into voiceover and take you through that process Go to your search bar and type in Kaipo Barbados. When you do that, scroll down and you will see some direct links. The one you want is register. When you click on register, it will take you directly to the registration page for an account. Filling all of the necessary information. I must say that when it came to putting in my date of birth, that was a little tedious. And you will see here that I had to pretty much tap all the way back to the 90s which is fairly fairly annoying hopefully they'll rectify that so that you can manually put it in but other than that it was a simple process they will then send you a one-time password to your active email put in that one-time password you have five minutes in which to do so after that they will send you the activation link for the account and just like that you will be finished see here I have four minutes left so it's good timing if you don't get in in the four minutes you have to start all over again so I got my activation link I put in my password and boom straight to the dashboard for my account and that is a simple process for creating your account on the Kaipo platform here you can track all of the activities you would have done using the platform you can search by service or you can search by status or both and this is great when you want to note your progress good so you're creating an account nice and easy like that the next step is to register your business name go to the menu tab in the top left hand corner and click on name related services you have two options, one for companies and SRLs and the other one for business name registration and up front you got the fees there so you can say you ain't no. Click apply now and go straight to the form. After that you will input which one you are applying for and in this case we want individual or firm business name registration. So click on the drop down box and then you will see it, it should be the last one in the lineup. So click that, the form will readjust for you to input all of the necessary information. After that, it will show your information on the account. So I skip past that so y'all don't know all my business. Let's get into now the business details. And the first one is proposed name of business. You should note that these question marks are not really working. I tap and I tap. I use different devices and they weren't working. I think they're supposed to guide you, but they're not working. So anyhow, I put in Aisha Manisa test as proposed business name. If it is something that is already there, you will get a warning message, but you can still answer it so they could do their full search otherwise. Next, you have main activity of business. There are many options not much for arts but i put in online business general nature of business this is very important you want to say specifically what the business is supposed to do so i put a few options you have sale of handmade beauty products i also did one for services so if you are a provider of entertainment services you will put provision of entertainment services 
I thought to myself afterward to be even more specific because there are several different types of entertainment services one can provide. So I added in musical entertainment services to be more specific and that will help the process as well. Likewise, if you're into video editing or your videographer, you can put provision of video editing and recording services. So basically you want to say exactly what you are going to do with this business. Next you add where you'll be operating from. So there are two lines. One is mandatory. So I put Draxall. You will see I put St. Andrew on the next one. I did not have to put that there because there is a spot for you to put parish. Select a parish that is. So I did that there. So my fictitious address for the purposes of going through this process as close to reality is Draxall St. John. For our country, there's one option and that is Barbados because this, as I said, is for Barbadian businesses only. Next, you have to put the number of people who will be under this business name are responsible for this business name and ultimately the business if it is one person you put individual if it is a firm you put firm and then you will see that the number options would increase individual is one so we are working with that then you add your applicant details again if it is you all of the information you would have previously put like your name middle name on the account you need to re-enter that here so if you don't have a middle name there's the option to click i don't have if you don't have a christian name you don't have but be sure to click those options if you don't it will tell you there's an error something is missing and put all the other information please note you have to be 18 years or over to one apply for an account and also apply for a business name going ahead you put your nationality the one that it is presently the one that it was originally then you put your address again if it is different to the one before you put it if it is the same you put it back again put your postal code if you know it then you put other business occupation if any you put that in after that you click save details i had a few that was required fill that out and then application successful we're almost there just two more main things to do at this point if you have any documentation that you want to upload you do it here pay special attention to the size limits if there's none click yes i accept and go on then there's the part where you sign to declare that all of this information is correct and you are who you say you are you have permissions to do this be very sure at this point that all the information you have entered into this form is correct because once you sign off there is no option to edit there's no option to reopen it and go back which i think is a little tough because we all make mistakes things may change and something is only after you sign through something that you realize hmm this misspelled and it's not your fault maybe the system or the phone or whatever device you're using had a glitch so you should be able to check everything after like all of the forms so i don't know if that would change going forward too i also don't like that at this point but after you finish everything there's no option to delete the request for the application but anyhow so i electronically signed then you will come to this screen where it has a service name the number name email id and the payment that is due once you click on that continue it will log on your dashboard and you can see all of what you've done so the draft signature pending payment due all of that stuff is there shortly after you get an email saying that your payment is due and that you should come to pay at the counter i'm going to assume that after you go in and you pay that the process of waiting the two weeks for the search to be done 
is the same so that is it registering online i really hope that this video has helped and is beneficial to you if you know somebody that will benefit from it please share it with them as well i will definitely update it as we go along so again i hope this has helped and made it easier and for those who have fears or any doubts or whatever well you know put the money back and get moving with what you always wanted to do so that's me for now and i'll see you in the next video <laughs>